distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, you all recall that the NPOWER is a cluster under the National Social Investment Program launched in 2016 as an intervention to enhance government efforts on engaging youths for skill and employability. You also recall that badges A and B have already been implemented. The Muhammad Buhari-led government to further position our youths for greater social responsibilities and inclusion. Despite an initial decline in the number of poor and vulnerable citizens in urgent need of assistance at the inception of this administration between 2016 and 2018, you will notice that in recent times, there has been a significant upsurge in the number of Nigerians requiring humanitarian assistance evident across all regions of the country into further economic and social vulnerabilities. These social and economic disruptions have further excavated the overall national poverty index, thus advancing the need for further but urgent national interventions. In addressing the numerous challenges participated by uh, precipitated by extreme poverty in Nigeria, the federal government has come up with an innovative approach to document all poor and vulnerable Nigerians in a comprehensive national social register. And the following interventions under the national social intervention programs, the NPOWER cluster, which is a combination of many sub-cluster initiatives aimed at providing opportunities in schools acquisition, competences building, and entrepreneurship training among the poor for human capital development. The Government Enterprise and Empowerment Program, GIP, is the cluster designed to advance microloans to informal, micro, and small enterprises with a view to unleashing the entrepreneurial energy among the poor, especially women and youth in rural areas, while encouraging financial inclusion. Based on the implementation experiences since 2016 and the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, these social intervention programs are undergoing series of strategic realignment and restructuring with the view to optimize their operations, maximize their impact, and drive an efficient coordination and management aimed to deliver even more socioeconomic benefits to the poor and vulnerable in our society. Since it is inception in 2016 under batch A and B, with about 500,000 beneficiaries catered for. The program provided an opportunity for 109,823 empowered beneficiaries to utilize the skills they acquired and savings to become business owners. In view of this life-changing experiences, President Muhammad Buhari graciously approved the expansion of the NPOWER program to enable onboarding of one million young Nigerians. This is a remarkable achievement and clear demonstration, <laughs> and clear demonstration of Mr. President's commitment to addressing poverty and employment among young Nigerian graduates and non-graduates. Today we have reached another milestone in the process of recruiting and onboarding of the by C Empire beneficiaries.
beginning with 500,000 beneficiaries as by C1. A three, increase national employment indices and ensure the productive engagement of millions of youth with the ultimate desire to improve cohesion and national security. Four is to reflect and stimulate the economy since the beneficiaries will be paid a stipend of 30,000 Naira per month, thus improving their disposable income levels as well as positioning them as better economic agents. To ensure transparency, institutional memory, and dynamic impact assessment of the NPAR cluster, it will now be administered through the National Social Investment and Information Management System, NASIMS, designed to optimize and complement the structural reforms of social investment programs and other activities of the ministry with the systemic use of ICT tools for coordination, administration, monitoring, and stakeholder management across the entire process and value chain of all social investment programs under the purview of the ministry. As seen today, the end power is a highly impactful social investment program. It has directly benefited over 1 million youth already and is now positioned to be more effective through the deployment of national social investment and information management system. By commencing the administration of the Empower Batch C through the National Social Investment and Information Management System, NASH SIMS, beneficiaries will be able to A, receive their stipends in a timely and efficient manner, B, have access to a wide range of industry specific contents for optimized learning experience, leveraging the enterprise learning management module of the nursings. C, actively interact and engage with industry experts for hands-on experiences and learnings. D, communicate their concerns and promptly receive feedback from, from the program implementation teams and other stakeholders from their comfort zones regardless of their location. Consequently, the processes and criteria for selection will ensure equitable regional as well as gender representation. Furthermore, special considerations for inclusion of persons living with disabilities have been taken into account by the ministry. In light of the safety concerns due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the ministry has taken concrete steps to ensure the recruitment and onboarding of NPAR beneficiaries in full compliance with the relevant public safety protocols and guidelines. Consequently, a greater percentage of the onboarding process will be carried out online and in a decentralized manner via the utilization of the NASIMS framework. I am convinced that this launch and the consequent commencement of the Empower by C is timely and a step in the right direction. I am even more optimistic and hopeful that the Empower by C will exceedingly deliver on the immediate, medium, and long-term expectations given the level of planning and collaboration invested. While I thank you all for your time, my audience, I would like to use this opportunity to thank the permanent secretary, the staff and management team of the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs disaster management and social development for their support and commitment to this project. And please be assured 
of our commitment to promoting the social inclusion agenda of President Muhammad Buhari by continuously improving social intervention program under the ministry's purview. And hereby, in the name of God Almighty, launch the commencement of the End Power by Sea program. Thank you very much for your attention.